elements, compounds and mixtures. Today's learning objective is can I model using Lego the differences between an element, a compound and a mixture? Elements. Each Lego brick represents one atom. An element is made of only one type of atom. Okay, This word here is absolutely crucial. One type of atom. So this is an element and so is this because in both cases there is only one type of atom, the blue type. This is a different element but it is still an element because it's only made of one type of atom, the yellow. And here's another element. Again, it's only made of one type of atom, red. Question one. Which, if any, of these are elements? Justify your decision. So we have lead oxide. I see a yellow brick joined to a red one. We have water, where I see two greens joined to a red. And methane gas as a purple joined to four green. So which out of these, if any, do you think are elements? And don't forget to explain why. Compounds. A compound is made up of two or more different types of atoms and they have to be chemically joined. So here we have one type of atom and here's a different type, and we've chemically joined them together. So here's a compound, and this is also a compound, and this one is made of one, two, three different elements, but they're all joined together. Question two, which of these are compounds? justify your decision. So we have oxygen, we have water, and methane gas. Which of those do you think are compounds? Again, don't forget to explain why. And finally, mixtures. A mixture is when you have got different atoms and they are amongst each other, but they are not joined. So this is a mixture. We have a blue atom, we have a red atom, but they're not joined. Here's another mixture. And this is also a mixture. It's a mixture of an element here with a compound. But again, they're not joined. Question three, which of these are mixtures? Justify your decision. So we have neon, we have water, and air. Which of those are mixtures? Don't forget to explain why. 